Hello, Debbie. Good morning. Every day we are bombarded with news reports and information and opinions. How do we determine what's real from what isn't? Robert Kiyosaki believes that it starts with financial education designed to make us smarter with our money, enable to fight what's fake, and use what isn't to secure our financial future. Joining us now is Robert Kiyosaki. Robert, how do we determine what's accurate and true information? Well, first of all, uh, Debbie, I'm, I'm very concerned about this growing gap between the rich, poor, and everybody else. It's a national, international tragedy right now. So I go back to what the school teaches us about money, and for most people, they, they say, well, they taught me how to balance a checkbook. Well, that's not money. And so because I wrote the book Fake, because we have fake money today, today the U.S. government prints more money faster than you could ever save it, and then they reduce the, the uh, interest on your savings. I mean, why would you work for money? And second of all, we have fake teachers they don't teach us anything about money. And uh, most teachers are good people, like my poor dad, but they don't know anything about money. And then Wall Street tells us to buy fake assets, 401k, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, and we're going broke. I mean, the gap between the rich, poor, and everybody else is dangerous. It's really, really dangerous right now. So that's why I say financial education, stuff that's not taught in school, is essential for people who don't want to get sucked in into this web of fake money, fake teachers, and fake assets. Robert, what is a real financial education? Well, it starts with fake money. Money today is debt, and then for debt to exist, there has to be taxes. So the poor and middle class are buried in debt, the U.S. government's buried in debt, and our taxes keep going up. Whereas if you look at the ultra-rich like Jeff Bezos, do you think he paid uh, taxes on those billions of dollars? Do you think our President Trump pays taxes? Do you think I pay taxes? So for money to exist, it has to be debt and taxes, and that's where it begins. So our teachers know nothing about this. Again, that's why we have fake teachers. You know, They don't know anything about this. They're teaching socialism in school today, and there's a place for socialism, you know, giving people fish, but we also need capitalism. We need you need teachers who can teach us how to fish. And then we have fake assets, which are generated by Wall Street. So in my book, Fake, I talk about how this is all generated. But more is just to wake people up, because as I say, there's a million ways to financial heaven. There's also a billion ways to financial hell. And all I want to do is have people have more choices in their life when it comes to their money. How do we create a secure financial future? Well, that's where financial education takes place. Like my book, Fake, starts with me in Vietnam, and, and I was a pilot, and my rich dad sent me a letter saying, you know, President Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. I didn't even know what gold was. Do you realize in 1972, it was illegal for Americans to own gold? And I, it didn't make any sense to me. So I went to Hong Kong with the aircraft carrier, and I bought my first ounce of gold, a Krugerrand, and I paid like 50 bucks for it. Today, that Krugerrand's worth 1,500 bucks. If I had saved the $50 back then, it wouldn't be worth anything today. So that's why in Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I also wrote Savers or Losers, because our money is corrupt. So the best way to be secure for the future is find out information and education not taught in our school system. That's why I hold shtick. I don't need the money, but I'm concerned about my fellow human beings, and especially this gap between rich and everybody else. Robert, it's been over 20 years since Rich Dad, Poor Dad hit yeah. the international bestsellers list. Robert, why do you still teach and advocate financial literacy? Well, because the gap is getting worse. You know, the, the baby boomers, my generation, we've had it the easiest of all people. But I'm afraid many of the pensions are going broke right now. The pensions in New Jersey, Kentucky, California, so the teachers, firefighters, and police officers are going broke. Social Security is broke, so the baby boomers are in serious trouble financially. And the same as the younger generation, their kids, they're coming out of school with 1.6 trillion in student loan debt. So that means many young people, their futures are already stunted because they have this albatross around their neck called school loans, the worst type of debt there is. And there's good debt and bad debt, 
but without financial education, most young people are strapped with bad debt. So I'm, very, I'm just a concerned citizen. I don't need the money. I like money. But I'm concerned about the future of our people and our country. Robert, I'd like to thank you for taking the time this morning to talk with us. Have thank a good day. You. Thank you, Debbie.